Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Marty Supple. I'm a Southeast ROP instructor working here at Artesia High School. This is my student, Ms. Emily Rodriguez. Today what we want to do is talk about fuel cells, hydrogen, and what we could do with fuel cells. So let's look at how the fuel cell works. What we do is we introduce hydrogen on one side. Hydrogen comes in, and we have what's called a PEM, which stands for proton exchange membrane. Therefore, the only particles that go through this membrane are the protons. Now, if we strip a proton away from hydrogen atom, and of course, again, a hydrogen atom is one electron, one proton. If the proton is allowed to go through, all we have left is a negative, which is electrons. Now, the protons go through, and now we have a what we call a positive potential here. We have electrons here. So therefore, if we put a load, such in this case a light bulb, or it could be an electric motor for a, a car, then we'll have electron flow from the negative side where the hydrogen was introduced to this side. Once the, the negative electron reaches the positive proton, now it reconnects, creating hydrogen. Now we take the hydrogen, we introduce oxygen. When oxygen combines with hydrogen, now we have water. So what's the byproduct? In a normal car, an internal combustion car, we have hydrocarbons, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide. We have oxides of nitrogen. What do we have with a fuel cell? A little bit of heat and water. That's the only byproduct we have. So therefore, this is very, very green and very, very safe. Now let's go ahead and get the fuel cell car out. This is a fuel cell car. What this car has essentially is a fuel cell, which will run on water. And then we have electric motor with wires. This is called a reversible fuel cell. So with this fuel cell, I'm going to create my own hydrogen by putting in distilled water and then, using electrolysis, break up the water into hydrogen and oxygen. Once that occurs, then we will have the gas that we need, hydrogen, and we'll run it through the fuel cell and produce electricity to operate this electric motor. So now, our trusted assistant, Ms. Uh, Rodriguez is getting out the necessary components, so we go ahead and uh, produce fuel for the electric motor. What we will do is fill up both sides with distilled water all the way up to the center of the tubes. Now what we need to do is get some uh, leads, hook up the fuel cell to a solar cell. And we'll set this pretty much perpendicular to the light. Now with about 10 to 12 inches of distance, we'll turn on the light. What we're going to do now is using electricity, we're going to split water into hydrogen and oxygen, and we'll actually be able to see that here because we have two sides, this side being hydrogen and this side being oxygen. And because water is H2O, the hydrogen side will be twice as high as the oxygen side proving the theory that there's two parts of hydrogen and one part of oxygen. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect the solar panel after we turn the light off. And let's disconnect the solar panel from the fuel cell and the jumper cables. Now we'll mount it on the chassis. And now let's see if we have any electrical power. Voila, she runs. Let's go for a test drive. So ladies and gentlemen, here we have a fuel cell. It is producing power from hydrogen and oxygen that we, we just created from water.